Our top story tonight, the first over-the-counter birth control pill is on its way to a store near you. It's called the O-Pill, allowing American women to purchase contraceptives more easily. The company announced today it's expected to hit shelves later this month. WSAB's Nakia Harris sat down with a local doctor to talk more about this new product. It's the first non-prescription birth control approved in the United States. It'll be as easy as buying aspirin off of the shelves. Women can get up to a three-month supply costing around $50. I think it's positive seeing that we have the accessibility for more people to get it. Approved by the FDA July 2023, local stores and pharmacies will receive the oral contraceptive costing $19.99. Morgan Riley says she's all for it if it's not harmful. I would promote it to my friends and as long as it is safe and we're not putting something into our bodies that can harm us in the long run. It's often referred to as the mini pill. I spoke to Dr. Bonzo Reddick, District Health Director, about what this is. It's a newer brand of a pill, but it's the same type of pill that's been around for a long, long time. So it's what we, what we call a progestin-only pill, sometimes also called a POP, which stands for progestin-only pill, um, also called the mini pill as well. Dr. Reddick says it can be less harsh on the body. And the reason why it's available over the counter is because the estrogen that's in birth control in some of the combined pills has a lot of side effects that come with, come with it and have to be you have to have a pretty thorough discussion with doctors to, um, to talk about the risk and benefits. But progestin only pill, the kind that's being available, made, being made available now, has very, very few side effects and very few contraindications. He tells me this is aimed toward people who may need a filler medication every once in a while. Aimed towards people who don't necessarily have time right now to go to the doctor to get, get a prescription for birth control. Um, it's really about increasing access to birth control is what this is about. Because um, and, and, this is something that's time sensitive, right? You wait a while to go to the doctor to get your birth control, then maybe you're having an unplanned or undesired pregnancy before you actually get there. I don't see why it would be a problem if I've already been on the pill and then continuing using it in between whenever I just can't get into the doctor because it's busy or because like COVID protocols or anything like that. Recently, when the FDA approved it last year to have this available over the counter, there's definitely been a lot of people asking about it. Um, as far as how people will actually utilize it, we'll see. Um, but I do think there's going to be an uptick in people utilizing this once it's available over the counter. Dr. Reddick still recommends to check in with your doctor before using. The company also says the six month supply will be available for pre order online as early as this week. Nakai Harris, WSCV News 3, on your side.